Hi everyone, so as you already know, Infosys has started hiring for off-campus placements. And to those of you guys who had filled the form that I shared or other people had shared, you might have gotten a mail to select the center for the written exam. After selecting that, you might have gotten another mail that they started rolling out recently about the exam duration, the exam timing and the exact exam location, right? Which of course is going to happen on 4th of January. So what we're going to talk about in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can tackle the coding round how you can approach the coding round so that you can maximize your chances of getting selected for the interviews of the best role. See, not a lot of time is remaining. You have barely four or five days left, right? So how do you utilize this time, the remainder of the time so that you have the best shot of, you know, beating the competition and getting the best role. And apart from this, I also have gotten, you know, like messages from my students who have recently appeared for the Infosys coding interview and coding round. So I'll also give you guys some questions and, you know, like an idea of the difficulty and the topics that they're asking so that you guys know what to be prepared for. Okay. Apart from that, whatever interview experiences and coding questions and all I'll be able to find, I'll leave them in the description box so that you guys can practice for it accordingly in the remainder of the time. Now let's get into the main thing. How do you tackle the coding round? See, before you get to know how to tackle it, let's understand what all will be there in the coding round. So we'll be having three hours and in those three hours, you'll have to do four questions, right? Of, of course, varying difficulty. Now, three hours is not a short duration. It is a good amount of time. But of course, if you compare it with the difficulty of the problems, it may not feel like a lot of time. So what is the difficulty of each of the problem that you'll be having? Because like I said, you'll be having four problems. So let's understand. The first problem or the you know main problem is going to be the easy problem this is the main problem that you have to target so you're going to have one easy problem you're going to have one medium hard so you'll not have medium probably you'll just directly go to medium hard third one is going to be hard and the fourth one is going to be complex so the complex one is going to be actually very difficult which is something that you might not be able to solve unless you're very good at dsa and you're sort of like a guardian or let's say candidate master on code forces or guardian on lead code like top 0.1 percent coder so if you're not able to beyond that level then probably it's best to skip the like hardest one right because of course that is something that many people anyways will not be able to solve so it is not going to affect the competition unless of course you're able to solve it right so the main thing that you have to focus on are the first three questions that are not that difficult don't get me wrong they're still that they're still difficult but compared to the last one it is not going to be that difficult so these three problems are going to be actually the deciding factor of what sort of interview will you be getting so before we get into how do we tackle, let me give you an idea of the sort of topics that they're asking. So recently a student of mine had given the coding round of Infosys and what he told me that the first problem was the tree traversal problem, which was the easiest one that they were able to find. That was a tree traversal problem, the easiest one. The next one, which was a little bit, you know, medium difficult was an array problem where you had to do, you know, optimization techniques, you had to use like sliding windows and some other optimization techniques. But even that was not that difficult. Now, the third one was 2 DDP problem, which was difficult and many people were not able to solve it. And the fourth one, the last one or the most complex one, they weren't even able to understand what sort of, you know, algorithm they had to use. That was the level of that problem. Most probably it was something like tree and DP, a mixture of tree on DP on trees or something like that. But again, it is something that many people were not even able to understand. So that is sort of the level that they're going for. And if I talk about the frequently asked topics, right, and not just right now, even before they changed the pay structure, tree was something that they have been asking quite heavily. Even now they're asking quite heavily. So tree is something that you can definitely expect one question to be from, right? So either tree or DP, one of these will absolutely be there in the interviews. You can have graph as well, but I've seen tree and DP more frequently than graphs, okay? So tree and DP, probably you can expect one question from. Other than that, of course, there are other topics, but these are the like frequently asked topics or commonly asked topics, so to speak. Okay, so now that we understand the difficulty and sort of topics that they'll be having, and I'll also give you guys some example questions in the description box. I thought of making videos about the questions also, but already some great YouTubers have made videos on that. So why do the same thing again? I'll just give a link to either those videos or the written questions, right? So you have gotten a list of questions, you've gotten an understanding of the difficulty, you've gotten an understanding of the topic. Now, how do we actually tackle the coding round? So let's get back to the main thing that I said that the first three problems are going to be important. Even in that, the first problem, meaning the easiest problem is going to be the most important. Okay, because see, try to understand the easiest problem. Many people will be able to understand, will be able to understand and solve. So how do you stand apart from those people? There are two things that you need to focus on speed and accuracy. 
first thing of course it is a contest it is a time bounded contest so speed is absolutely going to matter so the easiest problem you have to make sure that you solve it quickly see i don't want you to panic and think that you have to you have to you have to but if you're able to do it quickly it is going to be better for you second thing is accuracy i would say accuracy is more important than speed because even if you solve it quickly and it gets wa in the end it's not going to be a good thing so accuracy is more important of course speed is important so the first problem you have to solve completely okay solving one problem completely is more important than you know having just some partial test cases and two problems so it's solve the first question the easiest problem completely and that is going to give you a great you know edge over the candidates one thing you cannot afford is you know getting wa or not you know or having a bug in the code so you need to write bug free code right off the bat basically your first shot should be clearing the first problem right so it should not be that you do the problem halfway and then you realize that this is not going to work or you're getting a bug think of the most optimized approach that is bound to clear all the test cases and then code it out okay so first problem is going to be the most important problem now after that you have the second and third problem which are still doable compared to the most complex problem and in this of course you have partial test cases so you have to focus on them focus on them in fact a lot of students told me that what they did they were able to do like sort of the first problem and the second problem and the third one they were only able to do like sort of work around then you know pass partial test cases by doing some work around or you know doing some sort of jugaad and stuff just to get some test cases to pass and they were able to get call for the 21 lpa role right so of course solving partial test cases are going to be very important first problem is done now second and third problem one will be a bit more difficult one will be a bit easier but again it also depends on you so for the remaining two problems the first thing you need to do is you need to understand the sort of algorithm or the concept that it is going to be using if you know that then go ahead and write the most optimized approach now let's say that you do not know what underlying concept it is going to be let's say it is something that you have not heard of or you have not seen then you have to like do the partial test cases in that case don't spend time in going for the most optimized approach because again that is going to kill your time what you can do in that case is just directly focus on the partial test cases okay as much as you can whatever work around whatever things you are able to find as much as you can try to pass the partial test cases so if you solve like first two and maybe the third one partially you'll have a good chance of getting the best roll of course if you solve the first three that is the best case scenario and if you solve the first one and the other two partially that is still not on a bad note but of course you'll have to focus on your speed and you'll have to focus on the accuracy like the number of test cases you're passing but the first problem definitely you have to solve completely okay so this is sort of like the mindset that you need to have before you go into the coding round and don't take stress okay if you take stress if you panic you're going to mess everything up so just relax i know it's going to be on site it's going to be difficult you'll be panicking you'll be nervous but you have to relax you know take a deep breath and just focus on the problems nothing else don't think of the competition don't think of anything else just try to target the easiest problem once that passes you will feel a little bit of confidence and then you can move on okay so relax don't be nervous like take it in a chill manner otherwise you're going to mess it up so that is about the coding round so how do you spend the next three or four days before the coding round see first thing you need to have a look at the questions that they've already asked of course you may not get the same question you may get a similar topic but it's not mandatory or it's not bound to happen that you'll get exact same topic or you know even a similar question but just for your understanding i'll recommend you to go through the previously asked questions that have been recently asked okay just to be clear recently asked okay apart from that you need to focus on the most commonly asked topics that are dp graph entries now if you've not gone through these before then of course you cannot go through all of them at once one more is their recursion recursion of also they may they may ask recursion and backtracking but tree and dp these two absolutely you need to revise and get under your belt within the next 3 4 days let's say you're a beginner you don't know anything what do you do do you start solving all tree and graph problems you just go knee deep into it no of course you cannot do that at a very basic level at the very least do dfs and bfs in graph do basic problems that use dfs and bfs understand the concept well and do basic tree traversals you should know all tree traversals you should know all traversals you know like pre order in order post order you know top to down left to right all of those things you should be able to do so what you can do you can go to striver sheet and focus on the tree section like this there are some really great problems in that and again go to the graph section of striver sheet and solve that these doing this much alone will give you a lot of confidence so that even if easy problem comes on tree or graph 
or you know dp you'll be able to do for dp what you can do you can go through abdul bari's videos to understand how dp works and you can do some standard dp questions i'll give you guys a list of standard dp questions in the description box like some very standard questions just have a look at that because if a dp problem comes that is doable it is going to be a variation of a standard problem it will not be like a you know completely new thing so these three topics i really wanted to focus on graph tree and dp apart from that of course you have array strings and other things and that are important but the main thing the main difference will be in the you know the other two problems which are difficult but solvable that is where you'll be able to show your metal so focus on these topics for the remaining three or four days solve the previously asked questions you know that they've asked recently and you'll be in a very good shape of course after that you'll be having the interview just in the next day if you want me to make a video about the interviews as well do let me know in the comments and i'll make sure to make a video on that so yeah that's pretty much it don't think too much about it all the best for your coding round i'm really sure you'll do well just practice well for the remaining three or four days go in with a clean mind with a calm mind and you'll be able to do pretty well so yeah that's pretty much it come back to the video and let me know how it goes thanks for watching